It's now six o'clock on this Sunday, June 30th. Good morning and welcome to the CBS 42 Morning News. I'm Hillary Simon. We're going to begin this morning with breaking news. Just hours ago, President Trump became the first U.S. president to step foot on North Korean soil. Take a look. The president met North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. Kim then invited the president to cross the border and make history by stepping into North Korea. This comes after President Trump held a news conference with South Korean leader Moon Jae-in, where he announced he would have a brief meeting with Kim that he expected to be nothing more than a handshake. Well, what came was much more as the two leaders sat down for their first meeting since denuclearized denuclearization talks failed at a summit in Vietnam. I want to thank Chairman Kim for something else. When I put out the social media notification, if he didn't show up, the press was going to make me look very bad. So you made us both look good, and I appreciate it. But we've developed a great relationship. I really think that if you go back two and a half years and you look at what was going on prior to my becoming president, it was a very, very bad situation, a very dangerous situation for South Korea, for North Korea, for the world. And I think the relationship that we've developed has, uh, has meant so much to so many people. President Trump also invited Kim to a meeting at the White House. Right now, it's unclear if he will accept that offer. Well, as the story continues to unfold, we'll update you on our CBS 42 News app. It's free to download in the App Store and Google Play.